I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on IGCSC. We have made an attempt to solve some of these test papers. Now here I have taken a very important question from specimen paper of 2020. This is mathematics paper 4 extended. Now the question is question number 2 which is related to a cumulative frequency graph. So the question is right here. There are 200 students who estimate the volume of a classroom. The cumulative frequency diagram shows the result. So that is the result which we will work with. So the graph is given to you. Now in this particular graph, you can see the cumulative frequency for the estimate of the volume. Now we need to analyze this graph and answer a couple of questions. The questions are rewritten like this. So the question really is, 200 students estimate the volume V meter cube of a classroom. The cumulative frequency diagram shows their results. Use graph to find an estimate of median, the interquartile range, the 60th percentile, the number of students who estimate that the volume is greater than 300 meter cube. How do you find these answers? So basically, if you analyze the graph, the S curve, which you see for the cumulative frequency, you have to read all the values very accurately from this curve. Right? So cumulative frequency gives you the student number. And here on the horizontal axis, you have the volume. So for example, the median is the center value. Since there are 200 students, we have to read what corresponds to the 100th value, right? So that is how we have to read and answer the questions, right? So let us see how to read the median from the graph first. So since there are 200 students, so we'll actually do 200 divided by 2, which is 50% of this, so 100 student, right? So for 100 student, the volume estimate of the room is this point, right? So you can read it directly here. So when you go down on the horizontal x-axis, the volume indicates 400. So that becomes the median, which you can also say the second quartile, right? So we can write the value 400 for the median. Perfect. So in this, the median is 400 for us, meter cube. Do you get the idea, right? So that is how you get your answers. Now, when you talk about interquartile range, it means what? It means we need to find what is Q3. And from that, we have to take away Q1, correct? Now, Q3 is 75%, right? So Q3 is 75% and Q1 is 25%. Now, so what is 75% of 200. That is what we have to read, right? So that means we are looking into uh, 200 times 0 0.75, which is 150, right? And as far as Q1 is concerned, 25% or quarter of 200, right? So 200 times 0 0.25 is quarter of 200. So half is 100, quarter is 50. So we are looking for the values corresponding to 150 and 50, right? So is that clear to you, right? The difference between these two values will give us the interquartile range. So let's get back to our graph, right? So again, here's the graph. So we are looking for values for 50 and 150, right? So let's start with 150. So 150 is between 140 and 160, just the center value. So each division here is 4. So 4, 8, and 10 will be in between, right? So that is 150, correct? So that gives you the value for Q3. So it strikes here, so which is, let's go down this path. You need to use a scale to get accurate uh, results, but I think you can read it from the graph fairly well. So, so it is 420, so that is the value for Q3, which is 420, right? So that gives you 420 as the value for Q3. So we're trying to find Q3 here, right? Which gives you the value of 420. 
okay now let's see what is q1 which is 50 for us now 50 is between 40 and 60 so right there so this value right so so let's read this it is 350 so what we get here is q1 equals to 350 so interquartile range is difference between these two 420 minus 350 correct so let's get back to the paper and we got these values as 420 so we have 420 minus 350 correct so that gives you 12 take away 5 is 70 so iqr the interquartile range is 70 is that clear to you perfect that is how you're going to answer now how about 60th percentile 60th percentile means 60 over 100 or 0.6 times 200 that is the number of students right so 0.6 times 2 so 6 times 2 is 12 so it is 120 so we'll now again get back to the cumulative frequency graph and the re read the value corresponding to 120 this time okay so let's figure this out so for 120 okay here it is we can go straight that is the point right in between so this actually is slightly less than 410 right so it is slightly less than 410 okay right so so not exactly 410 okay but slightly less than that but you know what uh, 410 we could give as our answer right so let's give this value as 410 so 60th percentile you can write 408 also so for 60th percentile we read the value as 408 uh, approximately right so it looks like 408 actually but well because the graph there could be errors so 410 could be an acceptable value perfect okay now let's look into part four which is the number of students who estimate that the volume is greater than 300 meter cube so let's see how many estimate at 300 right from there we'll get greater than 300 right so this time we have to go from the horizontal x-axis so we'll go upwards from 300 and there you go right so this is the value so this is in between there you go so it seems to be 30 right so that is the value which you get so we want greater than 300 so greater than 300 means 30 or below or less than do you understand so when you say greater than that means 200 is all so we have 200 minus 30 so we get 170 students who are estimating the volume to be greater than 300 is that clear right so we can write down this answer which is there are total of 200 students and minus 30 of them will give us 170 students so that is the answer for the the estimate value for number of students who estimate that the volume is greater than 300 right so so these are the answers which we have got so the first answer for the median is 400 meter cube for interquartile range it is 70 right and for the number of students which estimate greater than 300 meter cube is 170 right does it make sense to you now in the test paper you can see the values have to be filled in in these portions right so let's put all these values from the graph which we have learned just now so let's summarize so the median which we found was the center value which corresponds to 400 the units are written there meter cube interquartile range was 420 which was q3 minus q1 which is 420 take away 350 right so that was equal to 70 for us 60th percentile we estimated as 410 right so that was the 60th percentile which is right there right so this is the 60th percentile for us 
and the number of students who estimate that the volume is greater than 300 meter cube will be 200 minus 30 which is equals to 170 students right so that is how you are going to answer this particular question so i hope that is absolutely clear so have a good look at this particular question try to analyze and understand how to read values from cumulative frequency graph perfect and how do you find interquartile range which is the difference between q3 and q1 median is q2 perfect percentile directly can be read, read from the cumulative frequency graph that is what i wanted to focus so i hope it makes things absolutely clear for the solution of the complete test paper look into another video of mine and i'll take a few more questions especially to b now which relates with the the graph again so i hope that helps feel free to write your comment share your views and if you like and subscribe to my videos that will be great thanks for watching and all the best